Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic that what is Scrum. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, agile frameworks and you are project management or you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So, a uh, friend, what is a Scrum? Uh, a Scrum is a agile framework which is basically used for implementation of software projects. Now, uh, before understanding the Scrum framework, we have to understand the older methodologies which we use for uh, project management or implementation of software project, which is basically of waterfall model. Now, what is waterfall model? Waterfall model is another approach which we use for software project management, which says that first we have to uh, gather all the requirements then we do the designing of solution then development then testing then deployment and then post uh, post deployment support so basically in which you uh, notice that once the first phase will finish then the next phase will start then this phase finish then the next phase start also this is a waterfall approach like it is a sequential way like it is not possible that the after completion of testing we will start the requirement gathering once the testing will finish we do the deployment we cannot go back into the previous stage secondly there is a very big problem in this model is that like approximately it will take around four to five months like for the delivery of a project or more than uh, one year in some cases if a project is very big so what happened that uh, like for example you do the requirement gathering in this year and uh, it will take some time and after one year you are deploying the solution for the customer and once you are showing the solution to the customer and after like six months or one year he says that he doesn't need the solution because it doesn't meet the customer requirement or the market requirements actually so due to the delay in the feedback of customer it will be hugely failed They're just because of this model approach actually now how this approach solved in the water, uh, scrum model uh, in the scrum basically friend what we do we uh, we divide the work into multiple chunks like for example let's assume that you are implementing an e-commerce solution which has 40 tasks for example so what you will do you take the 10 tasks first and do the planning development testing and then review deployment and post support so this is the iteration one or the sprint a sprint is a three to four week time period in which we do the planning development testing and deployment then iteration two in which again take the next 10 tasks then plan develop test review then iteration three again plan develop test review see from here in this approach in the scrum approach actually what happened that uh, every month you are getting the feedback of the customer that how things are going and based on their feedback every next iteration is better than the previous iteration why because once you finish the uh, iteration you review it with the customer gets his feedback and do the necessary uh, corrections or necessary improvement in the uh, in the solution or in the delivery so in that way once you finish all the iterations of the project you have a finished product and this product is much better because you are getting the market feedback you are getting the feedback of the customer and you know that which things are good which things are bad okay secondly in this model in this model the main focus is on the uh, successful delivery of the project uh, the working software is much much important like the main focus is not on the um, is not on the documentation detailed documentation and etc documentation is there but the main focus is on the successful delivery or working software secondly the uh, uh, the ease for the uh, multiple several stakeholders like customer the development team uh, and other stakeholders is very important so it is very important and very uh, very important in this model that the uh, team should be flexible team should be self-organized and they are working accordingly 
then uh, friend uh, there are scrum rules uh, three main scrum rules are there first rule is the product owner product owner is a person who has the vision that what needs to be developed you can say he is the voice of the customer and he is the bridge between the customer and the team and he knows what needs to be developed okay then a scrum master is the second rule in the scrum rule a scrum master is a person who knows the scrum best practices who knows that what uh, is right or wrong as per the scrum best practices and he is uh, he is responsible that the scrum methodology should be properly implemented uh, implemented while implementing the project then in the last scrum team a scrum team uh, you think of these uh, scrum team as the development team so development team like software engineers like uh, the designers uh, qa engineers etc so they are a self organized team they know what needs to be done in the scrum team there is no concept of manager actually why because they are self organized they are working accordingly as per the priorities then scrum framework first of all friend uh, when we talk about a scrum framework there is a role of a product owner product owner has the product backlog product backlog means for example you are implementing e-commerce solutions so he knows there are 40 tasks 40 user stories or 40 requirements of customer which needs to be developed then the scrum team a scrum team do the sprint planning meeting in which for example 30 minutes meeting or one hour meeting in which they discuss with product owner and decide what needs to be done in the sprint sprint is a 3 to 4 week time period so they based on the sprint planning meeting they prepare a sprint backlog so now what is sprint backlog see if there are 40 tasks in the product backlog after the sprint meeting they take the 10 tasks from the product backlog and that become as uh, sprint backlogs 40 tasks the whole Uh, requirements is called as product backlog and the chunk which has been taken from the product backlog that is called as sprint backlog once the sprint backlog has been prepared what they do like they do the sprint a sprint is a 3 to 4 weeks time period in which they like they develop test and do the testing and after once the testing they deliver it to the uh, for the sprint review sprint review meeting means that uh, they showcase their work to the customer and uh, to the product owner and they get their feedback and also after the sprint review meeting uh, before sprint review meeting there is a meeting of a daily scrum meeting during the sprint every day it is a uh, like uh, 15 minute meeting in which like uh, uh, every scrum master development team they will be sitting together they will discuss that what needs to be done today what happened yesterday and what they are planning for uh, for tomorrow okay so that is called as sprint planning meeting or uh, okay uh, daily scrum meeting sorry after uh, uh, after once the review has been finished so they fin uh, they deliver to the the work to the for the next and um, after finishing the sprint there is another meeting called as sprint retrospective meeting sprint retrospective meeting means just uh, think of this as a post mortem meeting in which they discuss that what happens good what happened bad and the main objective is that to learn from their mistakes and the positive things should be continued and the negative things should be discontinued this is the main objective of the sprint retrospective meeting it doesn't mean uh in the sprint retrospective meeting that it is a blame uh, meeting that in which uh, anyone is pur- putting the blame on someone it is just a learning session that think can how things can be improved once the uh, sprint complete so uh, the again and the session will start like a uh, sprint uh, team will again sit together for the next sprint they take the next 10 task again uh, sprint backlog created and sprint uh, completed and then again and the sprint review sprint retrospective and a sprint planning meeting and they deliver the product in that way in each sprint after every 3 to 4 weeks time period they are delivering the work to the customer and in that way at some point at some point the uh, product will finish and the whole product will be delivered to the customer again here see that as we are 
having sprint review sessions with the customer so this product will be much much better why because uh, the customer feedback is incorporated after the sprint review meeting whatever customer want to improve whatever customer want needs customer corrections we do the we do that so every sprint is much better as compared to the previous sprint so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends